Hi everyone, so as you might know, the registrations for TCS Code Vita are now open and it is a great opportunity if you want to get a job in TCS, if you want to get the prize money or if you just want to hone your coding skills and see where you stand in the competition. So I do believe that everyone who's eligible should register for it regardless of whether you want a job in TCS or not because it is a huge competition and you will get to know how good your coding skills are. So in this video, we're going to see what is TCS Code Vita what is the eligibility, how you can register for it, and after registering, what you can expect from it, and eventually how you can crack it. So we're going to see everything in this video, so stick out with me till the end, and check the description box because I'll be making a sheet on it where you'll have the resources about how you can crack the TCS Code Vita. Okay, so let's get into it. So what is TCS Code Vita? It is basically a challenge by TCS. So it's a coding challenge where a lot of people can register into it, and from the registered participants, you'll be getting interview calls based on your performance. And the top three participants of the entire Code Vita challenge will get $20,000 cash reward. And $20,000 is a lot of money, okay? You can just calculate that in INR and see. It's a great prize money, basically. So how do you register for it? What is the eligibility criteria? So you can just go on the website. I've given the link in the description. Once you go into the website, it'll show you the eligibility criteria, as you can also see on the screen. If you are graduating in these years, you are eligible. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it doesn't matter if you want to get a job in TCS or not. If you are eligible, I highly suggest that you take part in it. Okay. Now, once you see that you're eligible, once you register on the website, again, the link is in the description, then what can you expect from it? What all will be there? So basically, you'll have three challenges or three rounds. First, you'll have the pre-qualifier, then you'll have the qualifier, and then you'll have the finale. So the first two rounds, the pre-qualifier and the qualifier will be completely online, but the finale will be in TCS campus. Okay. And all of your like travel and all will be covered by TCS basically. So each round is eliminatory. You have to pass each round to get to the next one. If you don't perform well, then you might not proceed to the next one. Okay. Now the first two rounds, let me tell you what will happen on them because based on the performance, based on your performance in the first two rounds, you'll be getting interview calls. So first of all, as you might know, TCS hires for three profiles. You have Ninja, you have Digital, you have Prime. And we have discussed this in my previous video about how to crack TCS and QT. You can also take a look at that if you want. Again, I'll give a link to that as well. So the Digital, Prime and Ninja, these are the roles that they hire for. And based on your performance, you'll be getting the interview call for each of them. So if you perform very well, you'll get a call for Prime. If you perform well, you'll get a call for Digital. And if you don't perform as good, you'll get a call for Ninja. So it will be based on your performance. So what will be the rounds like or what will be there in the rounds? So the pre-qualifier test, you'll have six hours to solve six questions. And the first three questions will be pretty easy. So if you know basic data structures like array, strings, if you're good with the language, if you're good with the library like STL or collections, then you'll be able to solve the first three questions. First three questions will be very easy, implementation based, ad hoc, greedy, those kind of questions. The next three questions will be more difficult and you will even have some difficult topics like graph, dynamic programming, bit masking, etc. Okay, so that's how the layout will be. Again, in the qualifier test, you'll have six hours, six questions, and these will be more difficult than the pre-qualifier. But it is still very easily doable, especially if you just want to get an interview call, it is very easily doable. It is not like the Infosys test where you need to be a master on code process to crack it. If you're decent in problem solving, you'll easily get a call for interview. Okay. So how do you crack it? Let's assume you only have 30 days. Let's assume you only have a limited amount of time. How do you crack it? So I've created a sheet for it where I've mentioned step-by-step -step process, where I've also mentioned the questions, where I've also mentioned the resources that you need to follow to crack all of these things, basically the six plus six questions. Okay, so the idea for it is basically first learn a programming language. I'll suggest C++ or Java, then be good with the syntax of that language, be good with the library of that language. And then once you do that, it's all a game of problem solving. If you solve enough problems, if you solve problems from the right topic, the right difficulty, and you get enough practice, you'll be easily able to crack it. So go to the description, open the sheet that I have. You'll get all of the resources there. You'll get all of the important topics there. Go through everything, solve the problems, do everything that is mentioned there. 
and I guarantee you, you'll be able to easily crack TCS Code Vita. It is nothing difficult, it is nothing special, it is just a programming contest and if you do well in it, you'll easily get the interview calls. Nothing to worry about. Winning it is a, another story, but if you just want to get the interview call, easily do it. Okay? So, the link is in the description. Go through it, open the sheet, bookmark it and let me know in the comment if you have any doubts and you can register again from the link in the description.